also go through the middle. Igor Filipov, number 20, number 11. And in the opposite slot, Denis Zemchenok, number 44. There's a few tired legs out on court for Russia, but a few fresh ones as well. Kovalev has not played a great deal, and for my money, is one of the best setters that Russia has. Kopchar, a setter who's not here. This is how they line up, that's what coach Thomas Samuel has decided is the team that is able to get out there and do the job. And it's going to be Evgeny Andreev who will be the, the starting Libro. For the USA, it's, it's a uh, familiar lineup. Matthew Anderson, number one, opposite. Aaron Russell, number two, outside. Mitchell Stahl, number six, who's making a real name for himself in this squad through the middle. Michael Christensen, number 11, middle blocking. And uh, number 18, Garrett Muaga Tortilla through the outside. And Lightning Bolt Holt, number 12, Maxwell Holt in the middle. Eric Shoji is the Libro. The other Libro, Michael Maher, won't be playing because he's a setter. So he's just in the jersey because he can be. That's uh, what John Sparrow has decided. He's brought four setters with him for this World Cup. Michael Setter. He's one of those who'll be here as a serving specialist. This is how they line up. Tuaniga, the other setter, Joshua Tuaniga, Michael Christensen, Michael Setter, and Michael Mark. on court, everyone's in place, Libros are in where required and we are moments away from getting this one underway. Russia in white serving, USA in all blue receiving match number 55 from the FIVB Volleyball World Cup here in Japan. Uraga Tatia is very, very good at that little particular shot makes it work for the first point for the USA. It's a good crowd in here, almost full actually for this match. A lot of anticipation and excitement around Russia playing the USA, there always is. That's a lovely block from Holt. Miles above the net, and miles across. from Anderson, USA are on a good roll here. 3-1 up already. That was a really good pick up by the youngster, Simashev. It's free ball USA and Anderson puts it away. Tia didn't recognise that quickly enough as the roll shot that it was. Go, go, go. 
Shoji all over it. What should have got in front, courtesy of a few errors from the USA. Sean Spruill, the head coach, takes a deep breath and then just tries to encourage the team. This is a tough one. 11 matches, 15 days. This is match number 10. We've travelled around Japan from one wonderful city to another, ending up here in Hiroshima. And there have been a couple of days off, a travel day and a rest day here in Hiroshima as we arrived early. We have had just a rest day. But even so, it's a bit strange playing an international game of volleyball. This is the hardest schedule of any tournament that these teams are involved in. Another good block from Holt. That'll do. Luaga Zutia with the ace. This tournament kicked off in Fukuoka and also in Nagano, and then everyone came to Hiroshima. At the start of the show, there were two sports halls right next to each other. We're in the small square one. The big round one is where Japan are playing all their games. And it is packed for every Japan game, as it has been for the women's tournament as well. It's been such a well-represented event. The Japanese fans love their volleyball. And this previously, back in 2015, was the warm-up court. But decided that actually it'd be better off to bring everyone together. That's a really good server. That was a very, dare I say it, tired-looking Eric Shoji trying to get to that one. Let's watch number 22 again. He kind of makes a step and then, oh, it's not caught. He was a bit worried he might actually perhaps clash with Aaron Russell. There are a few fresh legs for the USA in the form of Ben Patch and Tori DeFalco, but DeFalco played in the game against Canada and had a shocker and was subbed out, and uh, John Sparrow was not in any way, shape or form happy. You say he had a shocker, he was made a few errors and at this level when you come in and you're making a couple of errors and then things don't go right it can get to you it did get to him the team dynamic wasn't helped but that was a match where canada played their best volleyball really put the usa to the test and they just about came through it 3-2 it was the first time that john sprawl lost his cool okay but he's been a rocket during a timeout Nice play, Zemchina. Into the technical timeout. Just one separating the teams there. Just warming up, getting into this. It's going to pick up as it goes along, that's for sure. Chinook with the serve.
well played. Free ball for the USA. Oh, that was nice. Stahl thought about it, got a call from Anderson, left it, and then was in need. Played by Morgan to see her. Stahl's been getting himself a nickname as the Beard from a lot of stuff that the FIVB have been posting on social. That's a good swing. It's about as good as it gets when you go cross court. Be the beard to serve. Oh, oh we've got our first one in the roof. First ball in the roof, but it's off the head of Matt Anderson. We've been hoping that someone might be able to bank one into the roof. It is quite uh, relatively low for this level. I'm not sure this is what Anderson wanted to do though. Look at that, right off the bombs. And it's hit the ceiling. feeling there, which brings up a more important and rather serious subject of concussion. Michael Serta is here with the USA team, has had three concussions and nearly retired from the sport through volleyball by being hit in the head by the ball. Now, Anderson has just taken the ball full on in the head from no more than a few inches away. He's going to go back and serve, and we're playing on like there's nothing has happened at all. But what happens is when you get hit on the head, inside, where your brain is, obviously, it rocks about backwards and forwards from that impact. That vibration, that energy goes through. And the extent of which, we don't know, often the volleyball particularly, but for someone to have three concussions and nearly quit the sport because of it, raises the subject of, well, should Anderson be checked out? And he's made a good dig. He's going to be still carrying on playing, and the USA are up by three. That looked a bit throwy by Veronkov, didn't it? And he's come under the net, but not fully under the net. Russia chipping away. Second tech timeout, USA lead by three. Nice block of the ball. Nice. 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 
Nice work. Hey, we had a couple nice opportunities right there. Way to battle. you had it. He's lined up pretty good, and he's just working it a little bit more. So. Yeah, he did get all over. Yeah, I go. Redemption up now for Russia. That's well played. Kovalev sets the ball so high, he's one of the highest setters of the ball. I think he and Gianelli both right up there, but the contact point's way above the height of the net. Christensen too, it's tall, he's... Uh, it's 198. He doesn't look that tall, does he, Christensen? Glenn Stahl's also 198. It's a very, very tall lineup that the USA have, especially when Shoji stands in with them. This is a good serve. That one not quite contained. Moaga to not keeping his shoulders facing back to the net. Timeout called Russia a level. They were very deep in defense behind the block. Moronkov with the tip, Anderson too slow. That's well found by Russell. That speed of the ball out wide just fracturing. Russia's block one on one. Russell's always going to be favourite against most players. from Muaga to Tia. Krugov, I say Krugov, he looks just like Krugov, it's like Filipov. Filipov trying to get out wide, but because he's late, because he can't get across the net, he's put his hands up and just becomes a rebounding board that Russell's able to go off of an out. doesn't have the angle to send the ball down. Russell now with the serve.
Stahl similarly not closing the gap between himself and the net. That quest for height and penetration at this level is a tricky one. You can see he's opened himself up as he's pressed and he's opened up his right side, his left side, which the ball has hit his left arm and gone down his own side of the net. Great up by Shoji, well covered. Free ball rush, a two front court. Kovalev's also front court, needs to be careful of that. But the ball not hit hard enough by a Kovalev, and now the USA have kind of a chance. Better chance now. Brilliant. Ruanda to Tia cuts that one. Cross court. Four to four. Excellent play from the USA. Great covering from Shoji. That sort of turned the tide in favour of the USA in the rally. And then after the recycle from Ruanda to Tia, he comes up with the cut. Tutia played it into Holt, it hit the net, and then he played it over. I think the referee's going to might have to play a let here. It comes down, it does, it came, for, well, certainly from the view I've got, it's the other side of the referee, unfortunately, well played, absolutely well played by the referee. It was one of those ones where, from his view, he couldn't see that Mwaga Tutia had played it into Holt, and then as it come back off Holt, it hit the net, and then Mwaga Tutia's played it over. And I think it's, uh, the referee just explaining that now. That was a tricky one. Timeout called. The block doesn't count as a touch. And then as it came down, it was Buwaga to Tia who played it rather quickly into Holt. And it bounced off him into the net. And presence of mind from Buwaga to Tia to play it over. We might get a, another look here. I don't know, actually, there might be a couple more there as it come off a few hips. <laughs> oh, well, they got away with it. Michael Sieta's on, serving specialist. Those of you watching from the start of the program, I talked about his three concussions he's had, and those of you following, you've heard it before. If you haven't, okay. he's uh, got a re resurgence. He's playing his volleyball in France, but he's going to quit after getting three concussions, thinking, well, I can't carry on. But he came back, and now he's here with the national team, getting his run out. He was selected for the VNL, but because he got a, a concussion in Bulgaria just prior to the start of the VNL, he quit. He kind of quit. But John Spore on the team have brought him back. Getting his taste of international volleyball. That's a good block from uh, Kovlev. Time like USA.
going to be the USA's ball because Holt was trying to set that. I can't, <laughs> I can't let me just like, yeah, yeah, sorry. I got carried away. It's like a moth, can't stay out of the light. Stay away from the light. Stay away from the ball. <laughs> You'll take the point, don't you to see they got one against him and now he's got one and they're back level here the USA this is brilliant line taken away Chenok working that block brilliantly. Mind you, you're not too sure. Right? <laughs> the play Holt strikes through the middle. a lightning bolt from Hulk through the middle. We get a double substitution coming from the USA. Suaniga's coming in, Patch is coming in, Christensen and Anderson going out. Keeps the setter in the back row here for the USA. And then Patch, one of the uh, highest jumpers in the game, now into the front row. Sometimes he jumps so high, Gets his time wrong, he gets above the ball, he can't, uh, can't actually hit it. Did that a couple of times in the warm up. Well, that's a chance to make a dig. Probably should have been taken. I argue too, and you're not quite up to the speed of the game, having just come on. It swings M. Chinook. And now Russia bringing on their serving specialist. Massive serve to come here from Andrei Simachevsky. But he's probably not going to go full on with the first one. Still causing a bit of damage. Oh, that's a good set. Russia have it in play. But it's a down ball here for the USA, who've now got options. Oh, that's such great movement. That is fantastic volleyball from the USA. The speed at which Patch and Holt and uh, Muaga Tutia got off the net here is incredible. And now all three are available. Massive pressure on Russia's block, and Holt puts the ball down. World class volleyball. Patch gets block out, and now it's set point for the USA. Big turnaround for them. Off of a great serve. Russia call their second timeout. Brilliant, Holt 
strikes. USA take the set 25 23, and they lead Russia 1 0. Second set's underway, USA serving, they leave Russia one set to nothing. Here in Hiroshima, the Green Arena, Site B, good pick from Russell. Yaga Tsutsio just forces that one through. Wins the joust. Tight. Just about kept in play. Oh, massive swing. Well to see it. Whipping through that. The way he got his chain to work, picked through. And then the hand firing. Putting lots of speed and pace into the ball to get it out over that baseline. Oh, 
Luaga Tutia, what a player. He was uh, born 1988 and uh, was part of the team. He graduated from UCLA 2010. And he's been all around the world playing. Played in Fujian, volleyball team, Jian. played in, in China. Played in Portugal, is now playing for uh, Thessaloniki in Greece. Called into the Lyon squad. He's played back in 2014 and then disappeared from the scene. We've got a recall. Taylor Sander not being available because of the shoulder injury. I'll tell you what, the USA have glad to have him. Well, that was an excellent block. Koblev getting across, it was getting a little bit tight over there, so for Aya Koblev to get across wasn't that difficult because Stahl was running towards that space. And so there was the, Aya Koblev wasn't being stretched. If you want to stretch in that position, when the setter gets taken over a little bit too far to four, some middles will come around behind the setter just to draw the middle blocker away. So if they do have to go out wide, They've still got a long way to go. The Beard with the big serve. He was recognised as one of the best servers in the NCAA in his last season when he left in 2017. Played for UCLA. Which is why John Sprawl knows so much about him. He was his coach. Got a 0.55 ace serving average per set across the season, did Stahl, when he was at uh, UCLA in the last season that he played. Good court. So uh, being given his in, Stahl thought it was going out. Kovalev then with the serve. Moraga to Tio allowed that ball to come on to him instead of attacking the ball. Ooh, just checking to see who's going to play that one. And in the end, Moraga to Tia and Russell sort it out. And it's Anderson who gets the put away. and does that week in, week out against these players, playing as he does for Russia. Russian side, Zenit Kazan, but not as an opposite. He plays for them as an outside hitter because Mihailov, the Russian first opposite, is in the opposite slot, and that's a brilliant serve. Takes us to the technical timeout. USA are bossing this second set, 8-4. Top serve from Luanda to Tia, right in that panic channel. Which is exactly what Russia did.
Muaga Tatia goes back to serve. Interesting fact, his father, Fauga Muaga Tatia, was a Navy SEAL. And he represented American Samoa at the 1994 Winter Olympics in the bobsleigh. Quite bring that into play and actually snuck it away from Shoji with Muaga Tatia. Filipov not being stretched enough by that set, that's for sure. Exemption up to serve now. already had some success from the serving line he's got Russia out of system and USA profit that is volleyball 101 it's not about all the fancy combinations you can run it's about how hard can you serve the ball to put the other team in a position where they've only got one attacker and can you get your block out and get it across the net and can you get two even three into that position Well, you see the men's team in the men's game jump serve so much. One, because they can, and two, because the risks or the rewards outweigh the risks. Because if you give a free ball, an easy serve at this level, it's going to get rammed down your throat. Which is pretty much what's happened here. There's just no time for the block to get fully set. So it's worth going for the jump serve, because if you get a couple of hitters out, then you've got a chance to play some have four on three nearly every time. You could almost be going back to the days where you might as well play at 15 and only score from service. That's well played by uh, Philip Hogg through the middle. with the serve. <laughs> Top ball in from Shoji. Starley's up early, and he can whip through the ball, left or right. And this time, the beard goes to his left. Free ball, USA. Oh, nice. Well, it was until Russell missed the court. There's a massive net touches there. Or did the ball clip the net? No, the ball was coming in as an overpass, so it didn't touch the net. And the net was going up down like a yo-yo. So, who touched it? Was it a pesky blocker? And the other question, was the ball down before the net was touched? That needs to be looked at. Yep, big net touch. And that's because the players have gone up and then pressed. The USA work on just going across the net in one movement. If you're teaching blocking, then you really need to teach one movement. So whatever you get above the net, you get across the net, because that then doesn't happen. You miss the ball, you touch the net. Whereas if you're going across in one movement, it doesn't matter whether you touch the ball or not. Stahl doing exactly that. He's up, he's waiting, and then he gets the big throw down, which is perfectly acceptable and perfectly normal in this situation. You can see he's pressing, he's come back actually, because he'd had his press. 14-7, Russia timeout.
Потрептам шо ти ја переживај нека. Ја мора шо боли боли се час. Си ја работи ти боли се. Давај. Russell. That, in a nutshell, is why they jump, sir. And because of rally point scoring, you're either going to win the point or you're going to lose it regardless. So you give yourself the best chance of winning the point by going as tough as you can from the serving line. Got the overpass. Oh! Gets the block out. Two in a row. Technical timeout, which is a bit of a downer for Russell because he can't really go after the next one now. Just went after that one. Would have been cool, wouldn't it, if Stella got a little cut just over the top of Kovlev down to the other side of the court, just in the three metre line. Those are three words any volleyball player just loves to hear. A lot of volleyball left. Oh, four words. Get it right, Lucas. telling the players that you mustn't switch off here. It's a huge lead, but Russia can get it back if you do switch off. Russell going for his third serve. Oh, he's aced! Kapukov has just come on. And he's probably wishing he hadn't. He was not ready for that. That's a brilliant serve. Kapukov has just been pretzeled, twisted and turned and ended up in a right mess. Oh. Russia's heads have gone in this set now. Russell will go back and serve again. It's a master class of serving from Russell. Time that calls. By Russia, it's their second. They don't have any more left now in this set. Okay. Ready, didn't get his timing right. Cut from Luaga de Tia. That's twice he's played that shot now in this match. On that side of the court, goes up, thumb down. Watch his hand contact, thumb down. And away from his body to cut it at that angle. Brilliant. So 
take them down, come pointing to the floor. You had to go to the line with a cut, you hit the ball thumb up as you finish contact. And stay in play. Sherman in, in, getting that one in. So it says on. He's already come on in the last set and served, but didn't get the ball in. So a little bit of pressure for him here. Most of it his own, making. He's for his pre serve routine. He's going to look to belt it. It's a good serve. One option available. USA triple up. And that's an error from Zem Chinook. So it would get to serve again. Another good serve, only one option for Russia. By Christensen. Russia now in a better position from getting that into transition. Oh, good pick up by Russia. It's a little bit low. That wasn't. That's fantastic. Sub coming for Russia here. Grant Keen and Krublov are coming on. This is a desperate attempt here for Russia to get the double figures, I think, more than anything else. So they are being given a lesson in volleyball right now from the USA. Tell you what, that's so close and so unlucky for Sayata. Good serving run from him, real confidence booster. <laughs> Top ball in. Oh, good skills by Semeshev. USA will come again. Ha! Excellent. Brilliant improvisation from Christensen. He couldn't get through the ball with his body because Anderson was in the way, but great shoulder strength. Lovely pick up by Semeshev. A great finish in the end by Anderson. Someone's hit the antenna there. Was it the ball or was it Patch? We're going to have a challenge, have a look to see who's touched the net. Patch was Miles. 
Admirals up. Long look at this one, just to be sure what's happened. It might just be the ball clipped the net, which made the antenna move, but if it's clipped the antenna, it's out. If it has clipped the antenna, then it's play on until it's landed somewhere. Oh, there's our big net touch. <laughs> We're all looking at what's going on in the hitting zone, and uh, it's a bit like that. Um, there's a picture, and then the big bear walks through the room, but because of what's going on in the centre of the room, nobody noticed it, and it was a big Russian bear in the net. <laughs> of course, Sherbin in. Well done to those of you at home or wherever you're watching from, whatever you're watching on, who saw that in real time and was screaming to say net touch Russia. Oh, we're playing a let. Okay. Let it is. Let's carry on. Joshua Tuaniga will serve again. Set point now for the USA. Russia have the small comfort of knowing they at least got to double figures in this set. Yeah. They were beaten 25-13. In the first set against Italy before going on to win the match 3 1. That's been their lowest set score so far. And this is now their lowest set score so far 25 11. USA takes set two and lead Russia by two sets to nothing.
Eric Shoji's parents, big fans in the USA, they're all here, they're all watching. Russia have made a few changes, Grand Keen is in, Truglov is in. Will it be enough to save them and get them back in this match? They trail 2-0 and Stahl has just delivered through the middle for side out. point to the USA. One step and it would have been USA's point. Oh, good play. USA back to their best when they're able to run the pipe, or the big, as they like to call it, the back court quick. And it is quick, it's just over the top of Stahl. There's no time for the middle blockers, unless they're Mazeski's height, to actually get hands back on it. And Mazeski's not here. King is injecting a little bit of pace into what Russia are doing. Michael <laughs> Christensen also doing the same as he has been from the start of this match. In position, quick look, what have I got? I'll go there then. Thank you very much. Great setting, great setter. Tales for Brazil, the two top Libros here at this tournament without any doubt. Perry's been playing well for Australia and it's not uh, really about how the team is, whether they're winning or not, because statistics for the Libros are on their passing and defence. So as they put the ball in and they're keeping it off the floor, they're doing their job. It's a good touch against Russia. What a dig by Muaga to Tia.
Harrison. Russell stays high. Yes, is it off the hands? It is. Well played. A little bit tree-like from Anderson, but it stayed in play. He's managed to work that off with Kruglov as Russell. It's a nightmare one that it had so much spin on it. Well, I'm going to cheer did well. It kind of came back towards the middle, and I think, if anything, Anderson thought this was going to be going towards, yeah, going towards Christensen. He was almost taking a step back, wasn't he, to go and get ready to have a swing instead of being fully linked in. Technical timeout it is, big lead for the USA, it is. Sir John Spurrell recognising that the mental aspect of this tournament and the fact the players are tired mentally as well as physically. So the whole tactical game plan, who's on what rotation, who's doing this, who's doing that, which was there at the beginning, it's kind of died away with that last play, with that last chat that he had. OK, there have been a few weird ones, let's turn them. Which just is brilliant, really. And win those funky points. The pressure on. for the USA now. They're just working on their side at game, making sure that that's healthy. Which it is. Russell had a very good serving run set five serves in a row but we're managing that just yet in this one Great touch. Just felt that Shoji's fingers got squished under that ball. But he's okay.
these are things that get practiced and should get practiced. These out of system situations, you know, chase the ball, put it in a space, and then are you linked in? Can you have a swing? Can you do something with the ball? going to take that one away from Anderson. And Anderson just crept into court. Although Sparrow's now told Anderson off and said, get out and be available to hit. Don't go pitching the ball off my libero. Down before the net touch occurred, rally over USA's point. Luaga to Tia with the serve. The USA completely shutting out best part of a third of the net with their block. Brilliant. Top spin on that one from Buaga to Tia to bring it down in time. It's a lot of weight behind the ball. First proper swing, really. Oh, yes, good dig by Russia. So Christiansen shows the boys how it's done. Bronkov made one. Semishev made one. And then Christiansen won one. Play this from Russia. <laughs> Technical timeout, USA. Looking good in this match. Thank you. 
Russell looking to bring it. Oh, he has done. This is a free ball for the USA. Four attacking options available. Practically impossible for Russia to deal with it. And that's off the back of Russell's serve. Time out Russia. Keep now for Russia. Rogatier onto the. Oh, yes! That is the play of the match. Christensen having faith that my Rogatier would get up from this, and he does. He gets up, and now he's got a free hit at four because everyone thought that was going middle. Fantastic play. Saitz is in to serve. can bring the heat, Russia know that. USA also, that's why they've got four passes in. Oh, that's a good play, Russell nice and high. He's out, but there's still three options. Anderson, one of them. Hatch is coming in for Christensen. Front row now for the USA. Patch and Holt. Russia have three hitting options: Sherbinin, Kruglov, and Semeshev. Two and Eagles now in as Anderson's serving run comes to an end. The finishes are on. Tumaniga and Patch, can they do exactly that? They're on course to do exactly that. Patch with a good swing through the outside.
big swing from Kruglov, but he's not found the court quite remarkably. Last chance here for Russia. Time that call. from Wagadutia. USA now two away from wrapping this up in straight sets. What a game. What a really good performance from the United States. went in the middle and a free swing for Semeshev. That's a scary moment then. That's going to work. Kruglov doesn't like it. Filipov doesn't like it. Russia don't like it. The USA love it. Match point. in style. It's not a bad effort. And it's a massive block from Patch to finish it all off. USA take the set 25-16. They've beaten Russia by three sets to nothing. That's a great performance from the USA on many levels. The scoreline, the physicality they showed, the mental strength they showed. Ten games done for the USA, just one left for them to play now. Are looking good to make it onto the podium. Possibly as silver medalists. It won't be the gold they had in 2015. That's gone to Brazil already, who have been in indomitable form. Oh dear me, look at that. Russia got eight points. The other eight, the USA gave them. That is a bit of a whooping. USA's last match will be tomorrow morning, 11 a.m. here in Japan against Egypt. Russia's last game will be just after that against Tunisia. This is the match overall. And in terms of errors, USA actually made more errors than Russia did. But they completely and utterly out-attacked them. And waiting down uh, on court is Garrett Muaga Tutia. And he can give us his thoughts on what was uh, an incredible game of volleyball as far as the USA are concerned with a wonderful straight sets victory. Okay, so I'm with uh, Garrett Muaga Tutia from Team uh, USA. First of all,